This is Scott again with Second Rain, just back for round two of this Cedar Rain Bench. Uh, this has been in my shop, my office, for a few years, probably five years now. And mouse got on it, in it, so I replaced the liner. And did a little recording of it, and I hope it helps if you need to ever replace a liner in these, or if you just want to see how it all works together and fits, and, and, and really the inside. Keep watching. So I made a modification to the cap. I just kind of rushed through it the first time I built it. And you guys know to ever do that, right? Um, and I didn't pre-drill. This is a little countersink bit. Very important. It's a great little thing. Um, I got this one. It's got a quick connect. So, All right, I drug my rain bench back inside because it is cold out. Yeah, it turned and I didn't get around to this. So anyway, I unscrewed those guys so now this will pop right off I've, I also I had it fastened in to the top too but okay you got the liners laid out and just uh, putting the last one on I just want to show you the tape when you're taping hold the threads towards you and tape around uh, clockwise like this that way when you go to thread it on uh, it'll tighten the tape up instead of actually loosening it also, just a quick note, notice that I'm doing all the bottom fittings first. So I'm taping up the bottom fittings and I'm putting them on. I'm putting uh, plenty of tape on just around the, the, the end. But uh, those are the, the critical ones as far as the tape goes. It uh, doesn't really make that big of a difference if the top fittings are taped because it's only for the overflow. This fitting is going to be holding the water and where you don't want it to leak. Especially, I, I don't want it to leak in here because it's inside. That's why I'm using these clamps too. Usually you don't have to use the clamps. They probably wouldn't leak without the clamps, but I'm just doing an insurance policy just to clamp it down so it doesn't uh, leak. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh, I think you are part of the solution. Thank you. And that one's on, I'll push that on and slide them. They slide right down. And, and that will just shove right on. And this one shoved. Okay, I've got the bottoms pulled out, and you'll be able to tell when you start pulling on it, there's a corner um, for each. Just pull them out to the corners, and this is built to the full dimensions, so it's all the way out to the corners. And this is also the time to situate your bench. If you uh, want to move it one way or another, get it set exactly where you want it, because there is going to be over... Uh, 2,000 pounds of water in this once it's full and so make sure you have it in the right spot yeah okay, I've got water water on this is a full flow um, shut off which is awesome especially in the cold weather when I am actually doing an ice rink so I don't want to restrict the flow um, and it's also great to use for rain benches too might be adding that to the kits but they're quite a bit more expensive so I might just put a link um, on this to buy these it's a, it's a full flow so it doesn't restrict it's a full like diameter of the hose um, these are pretty good size but they're they're still a little restrictive um, better than a standard rain barrel shut off though so we don't have any leaks right now I don't have a clamp on that one you can see but I do have a clamp on that one and it's going in the water's on I would just shut up you'd be able to hear the water I heard some creaking. Uh, check it out. Um, these cedar tongue and groove pieces are just sort of adjusting their the, the pressure is pushing out on them, but they're each screwed in to the two by four verticals, and then these are fastened across, holding the cross pieces together. That's one of the reasons why not just a big liner, because of the outward pressure in the middle, would just blow those apart. But this way, with each section fastened in and all the way down it just helps solidify and so you can use reasonable um, lumber okay we're getting there and, uh, getting right up there I think this might even be enough this is uh, if you can see here where the overflow is and where the line is, where the where the water is water level that's pretty good. I'm not going to fill it right up to overflowing, 
because it would be overflowing right there in my office. So that's my update to the original 300 gallon cedar rain bench. Um, kind of went through how to swap out. If you get a mice inside there, a mice. Yeah, if you get a mouse inside there and or you just want to replace the liners. If you're using it for drinking water and you're actually, you know, filtered water, you want to put clean water in this like I'm doing right now. This is clean water. So um, this is all the tubing. The black tubing is is uh, FDA approved. It's for potable. So um, there's some PVC fittings, which uh, technically that should be CPVC, but I'm hey, I'm not recommending that you use these for drinking water. I'm just saying. Thanks for watching. This is Scott with Second Rain. Okay, bye.